particular technology, we are talking about a low cost treatment process for the effluent coming out of the rice mill. In a typical rice mill, depending on its size and capacity, the requirement of total water varies from 50,000 litre to uh, up to 2 lakh litre per day. So the, uh, there are more than 1500 rice mills in the district of Badwan itself in the state of West Bengal. So number of rice mills throughout the whole state uh, is very high and similarly in the other states, rice producing states like Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Raj, uh, uh, Odisha, Tripura, the number of rice mills are very high. So every rice mills, if you just imagine, every rice mill is extracting about 1 lakh liter of water per day from the groundwater. So that is the major reason of recession of the level of the groundwater. And the, every year the rain is decreasing, so ultimately the water table is going down. So it is creating a huge environmental impact uh, that will be impacting the social health as well as the physiological health of the human being. And we are basically spoiling the natural resource or that, that will be you know, mandatory for the existence of mankind. So in order to prevent this problem, to address this problem, we have developed this technology. In this technology, we are talking about uh, a commercial, commercially available chemicals. The, the, the striking features of this technology are, uh, we are using the commercial chemicals and those are, those are readily available in the market for the treatment of the rice mill. The technology is highly scalable. We can scale it up up to 1.5 to 2 lakh liter per day. There is a initially there is a primary treatment. In the primary treatment, there, uh, there there will be a generation of sludge, which is which will be mostly the organic type. So this sludge can be used as a valuable byproduct that can be used for the for as a fertilizer. If there are there is a variation of pH. The striking feature of the filter is the pH is autocorrected. If the pH is slightly acidic or slightly alkaline, after the treatment, the pH of the solution becomes around 7. There, are, there is removal of BOD and COD when within the limits and total soluble you know, suspended materials completely. So we get a very clear water. The BOD and COD are within the limits and the pH is at the normal level. Now, one can reuse this treated water as well for the uh, for the for the rice mill so therefore we need not to you know draw water from the ground uh, every time every day for the running of the rice mill the we have so basically we are uh, and, and the treatment cost you have calculated the estimated cost is 15 rupees per meter cube of the treated water so what is the impact of this technology the impact of the technology will be extremely high so uh, we, we, the, it will be we'll be approaching a zero discharge plant uh, we can reuse the water and we can address two two issues uh, simultaneously one is a social issue because whenever the rice mills they put their water effluent in uh, nearby canals the canals overflow and it will um, flood the nearby farmlands and then the farmlands becomes infertile and there is a demonstration of the farmers by blocking the highway. So that is a typical feature in every season in West Bengal. So that will be addressed. That is number one. Number two, the uh, solution itself is environmental friendly. So we are producing a byproduct which can be reused and at the same time we are approaching a zero discharge plan. So the discharge will be minimized. So therefore, this technology will be, uh, we, we, we can, we can um, uh, envisage that this technology will be having a very permanent impact on the rice mills in the country addressing uh, the social issue as well as the environmental uh, problems that will be coming out from the, by the discharge of the polluted effluent from the rice mills.